the effect of interest on bonds. This is question 35 on the practice review and as you can see we have 500,000 9.5% 20-year bonds that are sold at 106 and instead of asking just for the entry we ask for do you understand what you wrote down in the entry so let's see on April 1st when we issued the bond we know that we're going to receive cash for 106 percent which is the price times five hundred thousand dollars so we're going to receive cash of five hundred thirty thousand and that's its present value we know we're going to credit bonds payable for the future value what you're going to pay back and you're going to pay back five hundred thousand so the gap between the two is a credit for thirty thousand it's called premium on bonds payable because notice you received more cash than the face amount of the bonds so did you get a premium or extra when you sold the bonds and it's true so in part a how much cash is received five hundred thirty thousand dollars how much is bonds payable it's five hundred thousand and the difference between A and B which should be in there is called premium on bonds payable and it's for thirty thousand and over the term of this bond that premium will melt away so number two when we make the first interest payment we know we're going to debit interest expense for the carrying value or also known as the book value or also known as the present value when you begin times the market or effective rate which is 8.9 percent and these are semi-annual bonds for half a year so if I do the math that's 23,585 now each time we pay interest we know that we're going to pay interest based on the bond 500,000 times the bonds or stated rate 9.5 percent for half a year because we send out these checks every six months so that's 23,750 the difference will be amortized to premium so premium is going to get the plug premium on bonds payable and the difference or the gap here is hundred and sixty five dollars now because this bond was sold at a premium its carrying or book value will shrink over time so when we um, do the next one number three notice the carrying value will get smaller than 530,000 but we should really answer the questions for two first so how much cash is paid in interest 23,750 how much is amortized hundred and sixty five dollars which is the difference between the cash paid for interest and the interest expense and C says what is the interest expense 23,585 so in number three for the second interest payment the debit to interest expense will be the shrinking carrying value five hundred thirty thousand dollars minus 165 gives us the new carrying value times the market or effective rate of 8.9 percent for half a year so if I do my math that comes to 23,578 so notice the interest expense is getting smaller because the carrying value is shrinking we're going to credit cash for the same amount as before the 23,750 
So notice the amount that's going to the amortization of the premium, 172, is getting larger because that gap between the cash paid and the interest expense is growing. So question three, how much cash is paid in interest? The same as we always do every six months, 23585 and that's based on the bond's face times the bond's stated rate times half a year. How much is amortized? $172. And what is the interest expense? 23578